Good morning, Nurse Nook family. Welcome back to another vlog. This vlog today is probably gonna be a little different than a lot of the content I normally post, just because I am being super real um, this vlog. I'm always real with you guys, but I'm being a little bit more open with you guys in this video, at least I plan to. Um, so I'm just, I was gonna say I'm just waking up, but that's a lie. I'm just getting home. I actually was at my boyfriend's house last night, Alvin. Um, he probably will make an appearance later in the vlog. But I couldn't sleep all night, and so I came home, and I'm about to have some of my CBD because I didn't have any at Alvin's place, just so I can relax and reset myself and kind of boost my mood for the remainder of my hopefully productive day. So I'm actually in my bedroom just because I feel like I always fill in my living room and never in my bedroom. And it's honestly a hot mess right now. My bed is not made. I have like stuff on my nightstand, but whatever, you know, I'm being real with you guys. And this is it real as it gets, right, Biscuit? Also, as you can see right here, this is when I first moved into the apartment. Biscuit, chew that up, but we're better than that. Right, baby? Yes, we have grown since then. Okay, so this is the CBD that I take. It's from the brand Premium Jane. They are my absolute favorite CBD brand. I did a video with them like over a year ago and I've been using their products ever since. Absolutely love their brand. Their CBD is such good quality and it comes in all types of forms. They have like lotion, bombs, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, gummies, I have the gummies and I take um, the oil as well. Great products. Thank you, Premium Jane, for sponsoring this video. But I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about the CBD and why I feel like I need it right now. So first and foremost, let me just say that there's a huge misconception with CBD. People either think it does nothing or people are scared of it because they think there's weed in it or THC, whatever it is. There may be products out there like that, I'm sure, but the... Um, CBD that I take from Premium Jane does not contain any THC. As a nurse, I'm not even allowed to consume such things, so that is something I don't even have to worry about. Personally, I like CBD, especially the oil, because I feel, again, me personally, I feel like it just helps calm me a little bit and just puts me in a more like relaxed mind state almost as if you were to drink like cam chamomile tea or some kind of relaxing tea um cbd has a similar effect on me i feel like it just really chills me out like i'm just able to think a little bit more clear when i try it and i too was someone that was kind of like weird about it and I was like does this even do anything but it's used in cancer patients it's used in the medical world now um, doctors prescribe it so I am a firm believer that it does wonders and for me personally why I feel like I woke up needing some oil you know what I'm gonna put you guys on the ledge because I want to chat and my arm is like dying trying to hold this camera up but anyways bed all messed up in the back and everything i'm being very open with you guys today because usually that is not my style but guys i have been having a really hard time adjusting to night shift as of recent i feel like i've been on nights for now six months and i feel like i'm hitting a wall like i've recently been having like anxiety on and off like weird feelings of sadness i'm not gonna say like depression because it's personally i don't feel like it's that severe but it's just random bouts of like just being sad and also i feel like i'm on a total opposite schedule as everyone else in the world and i really have a hard time transitioning on my off days i feel like i miss so much of my day either catching up on sleep or not being able to sleep at night and that's what really was my problem last night is because now I don't have a problem staying up when I'm actually working night shift but now I can't sleep throughout the night when I come home and so I have just been really battling back and forth I cannot wait to go to day shift I have been on the day shift list since I started at my job and I oh my god I love my job so much and so I don't want to complain because I'm so grateful that I even have this opportunity to work in my dream field but it's just the night shift that's just getting to me like I slept a total of 
maybe 60 minutes last night and I've been up it's 7 a.m. now and I've been up since like 3 a.m. and I don't know how I even have any energy left because the day before that I didn't sleep either so I'm just in a very interesting place right now I'm trying to get back in my rhythm and it's just hard for me right now and I know this is not forever but I'm trying to be as productive as I can and it's just hard because I feel good when I wake up and I'm productive and I feel like I'm not able to do that because I'm not sleeping and so in the mornings I'm so tired from being sleep deprived that I end up sleeping either throughout the day or I sleep late and I don't want to work out and that's why like my bed is not fixed right now my apartment is not the cleanest at the moment just because I feel like I don't have not that I don't have the motivation I want to it's just I don't have the time or the focus <laughs> and I just feel a lot of brain fog right now I feel like that's my top problem and obviously like as you can see throughout this video I'm like jumping all over the place with what I'm seeing but I don't know I'm trying my best to get through it I think also like having fallen off like a steady schedule with working out and I notice too when I don't meditate regularly and I don't read regularly I notice myself kind of not feeling my healthiest and so that's probably something that I should get back on but it's really just the sleeping schedule that I need to conquer and again like I said I know it's not forever when I first started on night shift my very first time being on night shift was two years ago or two and a half years ago and I remember when I first started like my first six months were rough too um, but after that it was like smooth sailing I just my body just took a while to get used to it and I was off for night shift for seven months so my body went right back to being a day shift nurse and then now that I'm on nights again my body is go going right back through the process of like okay how do we function on nights again and so it's been a long process the first few months were fine um and then like my body was like okay girl what is going on and so now I'm in like the rut of like okay we have to figure something out and so I'm just giving my body time and space and positive energy to find its rhythm um, but anyways, yeah, I'm always super positive with you guys, but you know, I also like to keep you guys in the loop and tell you what's real and it's not always sunshine, sunshines and rainbows. Um, we all go through tough times and transitions and, you know, not feeling our best. And so whatever, you know, we're, we're going to push through it. We're going to come out victorious on the other side. Like I have gotten through 100% of my bad days and I will get through this too. Um, with that being said, I had a appointment for the eye doctor schedule today and a laser appointment later on today, but I am going to cancel my eye appointment and just go hang out with my cousin because I feel like I need family time and my mental health is more important than just making sure I get to my appointment. I prioritize my mental health over that and I could always go tomorrow. But my laser appointment, on the other hand, it takes a while to get in, so I will have to make it to that. And so, yeah, we are going to hit the road, me and Biscuit, and go over to my cousin's house and have some cousin family time, and I will see you guys there. I had to make a quick stop on the way, and guess what I got? If y'all know me, you know what's in this bag. Well, I actually have a few bags because I got munchkins for um, the girls. OG Nurse Nook subscribers know that I am obsessed with ham egg croissants that's like the only time that I eat ham from Dunkin Donuts and you know what I'm like I'm gonna treat myself today because that's what makes me feel good and so that's exactly what I did and honestly I don't know if it's just like the drive and the music but I took my CBD I drove for like 30 minutes to my cousin's house and I feel so much better I feel so much more at peace um, I feel like I'm about to go eat this croissant and take the fattest nap. And Biscuit is also here. Papa! Alright guys, I am very upset. Hey puppies! <laughs> Toby looked back like me. So we're with Alex and Sam. Hey Sam. Hey! But anyways, I'm upset because y'all know I get my ham, egg, and cheese. Or sorry, ham, egg, no cheese croissant. And these bastards gave me 
they gave me cheese one which i didn't ask for and they forgot the egg that's the whole point of the croissant is the egg so now i have to eat this sad sandwich i'm upset guys my sweet angel cousin gave me half of her egg because <laughs> they didn't give me any <laughs> she said we all eat around here <laughs> Guys, I need you to hear this. My cousin made her own words of affirmation meditation and we need this on Spotify because this is the best thing I've ever heard. You guys need to listen to this. So take your deep breaths and listen to some good ass meditation. I'm a badass bitch. <laughs> Failure? I don't know her. Period. <laughs> in my bag <laughs> this company is in, in my, my bag, bag. Yes. <laughs> <That's> my <favorite. laughs> I am successful yeah, we'll I love it <laughs> we'll cut to these peppers ain't nothing <laughs> hey friends so I ended up sleeping for like four or five hours earlier I'm back home now we just went to work out. Alvin's back from work. He looks like Wizard Kelly right now. But really quick before um, I end the vlog, one, I feel so much better after working out. I always tell you guys that working out just boosts your overall energy, makes you feel better, and that's exactly what it did for me. But anyways, um, really quick, I just wanted to tell you guys about the Hawaii trip. So in a few past videos, I told you guys about my trip to Bali so I'm I started hosting international trips so my first trip to Bali was sold out pretty quickly and so the travel company I work with we planned another trip and we're going to Hawaii this trip leaves next September so September 2022 um, it's gonna be so much fun we're gonna do like rainforest What's that called? Zip lining. We're going to do a picnic in the rainforest too. Um, there's a lot of exciting things. We're also like taking a boat trip to do snorkeling. There's a lot of cool um, activities that we have planned. And Alvin is actually going to be accompanying me on this trip. So I'm encouraging you guys. The link is down below for the trip. We're going to have a great time. You can bring your man, bring your girl, bring your best friend, whatever. We are going to have fun. And also, I have an, um, an email link down below because we're going to be releasing more trips. So if you miss out on Hawaii, that's okay because we are going to be doing a lot more. So anyways, that is the end of the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. We are just going to eat some Mexican food that I picked up and watch Space Jam. And that is the end of our night. So... Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Right here. Yeah.